Hello, we are continuing with decimals unit two with levels two and three. The first thing that I wanna remind you is that you are going to be giving answers in fraction form, not decimal form. So make sure you keep that in mind as you uh, begin your formatives. Uh, the first thing I wanna point out is that we have moved on to using hundredths grids, which means they, there are 100 little cubes in this grid. If I counted, there would be 10 across and there would be 10 down the side and I could multiply that. 10 times 10 is 100. So there are 100 pieces this is broken into. And I'm gonna use some skip counting today so you'll see that. Uh, if I am going to identify this as a fraction, the first thing I'm going to do is start with my denominator. And as I just mentioned, this model is broken up into 100 even pieces. So my denominator becomes 100. Then I'm gonna use that skip counting that I talked about. And if I have a column up and down that is completely filled in, that's gonna be 10. So I can use that fact and use that to help me skip count. So 10, this would be 20, 30, this gets me to 40 and then I need to stop skip counting because this next column is not completely filled in. When I get to the column that is not completely filled in, that's when I'm going to pick up where I left off skip counting, but I need to start counting by ones. So this was 40, this is 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46 becomes my numerator. I don't need to simplify this fraction. I can just leave it like it is and move on. I have now identified the fraction which represents this model. I can use the same strategy even when the columns are filled in in rows instead of going up and down this way. So I'm gonna start by identifying that my denominator is hundredths. And then skip counting. 10, 20, I need to stop there. This is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Another strategy I could use is knowing that if all three were filled in, I would have 30, but I have two less than 30. So 30 minus these two would be 28, depending on how you wanna think about it. Either way, I'm going to get to 28 hundredths, which is the fraction form of this model. Next, I'm gonna have some mixed numbers. And I know that because I have models that are completely filled in, in addition, to a model that is not completely filled in. So I'm gonna start with the models that are completely filled in and those are my whole numbers. I have two, so my whole number will be two and now I can move on to the fraction piece of that mixed number. I'm going to know already that it is hundreds that I'm working with with my denominator and the fraction, I'm sorry, the numerator of the fraction, I can skip count just like I have before. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. So this model represents 2 and 73 one hundredths and I can move on. This time I have even more holes. I have three holes and then I can work with my fraction, which I already know has 100 pieces, which becomes my denominator. And now I can do my numerator. I'm gonna start skip counting with 10 and I already am gonna start with ones here, 11, 12. three and 12 one hundreds. Those are all fraction answers and I'm done.